What's up guys, Peter here from Reviews on Anything and today we're talking wristwatches. Now I've been trying out uh, smartwatches over the past years and they never really worked for me. Um, the functionality didn't really add anything to my life uh, and obviously the big issues with battery life, screen burn-ins, uh, brightness settings and so on. It's just too much to deal with for just a watch. So I was looking for a more classic and traditional timepiece that would just tell the time. So no Bluetooth, no fitness trackers, no Wi-Fi, and none of that nonsense, just something to tell the time that would look good. The other requirement I had is that it had to be a big watch. I'm not a small guy, so I like my watches to be slightly bigger as well, because I think that just looks more balanced on my wrist. Luckily for me, a Kickstarter campaign came by, uh, by the names of the Hercules watch from Pierce. I got it right here, got delivered a few weeks ago, and I've been wearing it ever since. And it is everything that I was looking for in a watch. So let's take a closer look at the watch, see what it's all about and see if it lived up to my expectations. All right, so here we are up close with the Hercules watch. Let's see what we got. Uh, obviously the first thing that comes to mind is the color. This is the gunmetal uh, variety. It is all uh, 316 L stainless steel by the way, uh, but this is the gunmetal finish. It comes in a few other finishes as well. I got the light strap which uh, has a 24 millimeter lug, so I'm sure uh, you can change those out if you want and uh, judging by the wear already on them, uh, I'm gonna have to change them at some point as well. Uh, but for now this looks uh, pretty classy, I think. Uh, nice and fresh, the band is still nice and solid for the case. Case itself, uh, 50 millimeters big, quite large uh, by any standard really. Uh, a few bigger ones uh, you could maybe consider like a U-boat but those are super expensive and this was a Kickstarter campaign like I mentioned. Uh, from lug to lug it is actually 54 millimeters and the whole case is uh, 13 millimeters high. So overall it's a very chunky watch and when you pick it up it feels chunky as well. It has a good weight to it uh, with its 316 L stainless steel and uh, you know it feels like a solid watch. It's not overly heavy, it's not artificially heavy I think uh, but it just feels like a nice solid watch with a weight to fit its size. Now, a uh, pretty classic dial. I really like it with uh, just the four big numbers and then the smaller numbers uh, in between. Got a little window for the date here. Uh, so, you know, very classic design overall with just uh, minutes, hours and second hand, uh, all in sort of a matte black finish. Uh, I think it's a very stylish design. It's a very timeless design. Uh, you know, certainly not something super unique or anything, uh, but I like simple designs like this. It's very nice and elegant. So the outside of the watch obviously is important because that's what people see and what you will see. Inside uh, all is well with a Swiss Ronda 515 mechanism inside to make sure your watch keeps ticking on time. To further uh, continue the outside tour, obviously we have the back of the watch, uh, which you'll probably never see, but it's quite nice uh, with the Pierce logo here. 50 meter water resistant, uh, all stainless steel, so you know it's very nice that they printed that on the back. Sort of as a, uh, you know, I know it really physically doesn't add anything to the watch, but it's a nice sort of quality uh, stamp on the back. I think it looks pretty cool. Then we have the crown here, which is used obviously to change the time and the date, so you wish, um, with the Pierce logo etched in there as well. It's a two stage crown, so you know, one plop for the date, two plops for the uh, time change. Very solid and I think it also adds to the overall look and appeal of the watch. It's very, again, a very classic uh, layout with the crown on the side, but I think it really works in this case. Is there anything not to like? Well, I'm not too much of a fan of the strap. It is um, a little bit of a letdown uh, compared to the you know, overall quality of the watch. Uh, it doesn't really feel very premium. Uh, maybe I have to wear it in even more, uh, but it feels a bit cheap, so I'll probably replace it at some point. The other thing I don't like, is that the uh, back here, I hope you can see that properly on camera, the edges here are quite sharp, especially here on the inside. Uh, so that does get uncomfortable uh, sometimes when you uh, twist your wrist, uh, it can cut into your wrist a little bit, which is not a very nice thing. They could have done a little bit of a better job in maybe polishing this a bit more, making it a bit of more of a rounded edge, because this now is quite sharp. The other thing that I don't really like, uh, but that comes with a big watch, is that it's, um, you know, if something gets in the way of your wrist, uh, but especially with the strap, I don't know if you can hear that, it clicks like that uh, whenever you move your wrist uh, too much, which is not very nice. And also again, not a real quality seal when it comes to the strap. 
So that's definitely, uh, you know, up for replacement at some point. Overall though, I'm really happy with this watch. It does everything I want it to do. It looks good, it looks stylish, it looks good on my wrist. Even at this size, you know, I'm not a small guy. I'm 6'1 uh, and over 200 pounds, so, you know, a watch this size certainly suits me. Um, and I really like that it is just a watch. Uh, you know, it's back to basics, it's classic, uh, and still has a sort of an elegant and fresh look to it. Uh, with the robustness that the gunmetal gives in my case. Uh, I really think it's a complete package and it's everything that I look for in a watch. Certainly not for everybody, not the size uh, alone, uh, obviously it's not for everybody, but also the design might not be for you. I like the cleanness and the effectiveness of the design and I think overall it's a very nice watch that I uh, hap happily wear pretty much every day. This is Peter from Reviews on Anything with a look at the Hercules watch from Pierce. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel, that always helps us out a lot and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!